What's poppin' everybody? LAW, 24-7 Films and Photography. And we back again with another Photoshop CC tutorial. Today we gonna do a tutorial on adding people to images, adding extra people to a photo. If you wanna take one person and you wanna add two more people to the photo, we gonna show you how to do that today. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell so you never miss out on nothing hot, fresh, and new that we got coming for you. You know what I'm talking about? So, we gonna dig straight off into it, you heard me? Like I said, Photoshop CC. Um, let's go ahead and get it cracking, you heard me? So, first thing you already know, boom, we gonna create a new. I use 1920 to 1080p, 300 ppi. That's what I prefer to use. You may have a different setting that you prefer to use, but that's what I prefer to use. Okay, so boom, once you see, you got up your blank image. now. This is how we're going to start this off. Now, the best way to do it is, it's best to have a photo that's already on a dark or plain color background. It'll make it a whole lot easier when it comes to uh, extracting the person from one part of the photo and placing them in the next. If you use a solid color background, it's a whole lot easier. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to layer, right? So, we're going to get a new fill layer and we're going to go to solid color. All right, that gives you your option, boom. So we're gonna select color, and we're gonna select, since we're gonna use pictures that come from a black background, we're gonna use gray. Cause gray will be, give us the closest feel of black. So boom, we're gonna go with a gray, and hit okay. Now as you can see, it, it, the chart pop up, and it's already black for me, that's what I want. It's already pulled all the way down, if you want. If you wanna do something different, you can go ahead and change the color, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? But I wanna do black because I'm already using pictures off a of black background. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Now boom, that's our background. This is the background that we're gonna use for the images. The images are gonna be placed on this black background. So the first thing we're gonna do after we got our color fill background, we're gonna go ahead to our file and choose our images. All right, let me go ahead and get the images that I want to use really quick. All right. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use these beautiful lady images right here. So the first thing we do, let's grab an image, go ahead and pull it in. Now, as you can see, uh, it lays another uh, layer or the image on the background. So it's sitting on top of it. Let's go ahead and hit enter and lay that down. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go over here to our quick selection tool and hit select. Now we're not going to use the selection tool. I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to do it. Let's go ahead and select the subject instead. So this will go ahead, it'll take a second, and the next thing you'll see, it'll trace out the whole image of my subject in the picture. Now usually when you do that, it does a pretty good job, but as you can see down here, it left out a foot. So if it leaves something now, you just want to go ahead and click and add to it like that. Now sometimes you'll click and it'll get a little bit outrageous, but we're going to leave it like that. We're going to try to get it perfect. That's a pretty good... Um, a pretty good cutout of the image that we want to use. So the next thing we do, once it's highlighted like this, you hit Command J on your keyboard to make a copy. Now as you can see, if you go up here, there, there's just a copy layer. If you turn the picture off, you see that background goes away. And there it is, we have just a picture on that image. Now, the next step is, since this is our first image, we're doing more than one image. So since this is our first image, we don't need the background layer anymore since we got the image that we want. So we could go ahead and delete that one. Okay. Now we're going to take this image here. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit. Uh, sorry about that. What is it? Um, Command A to highlight the entire picture. Now that's what we would do if we were going to add pictures to it. But right now this is our first picture. So like I said, we're not going to do that. So let's hit, let's get off of that real quick. We don't need to do that. Sorry about that guys. I'm kind of messing up here. All right, there we go. Let's get back on our lasso too though. We'll just get back on it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take this image and we want to transform the size of it. So let's hit Command T. Oh, it can't be transformed because the initial bonding rectangle is empty. Okay, so boom, we have to do that, all right? So let's go ahead. What we're going to do is go back. Let's hit Command A 
That'll highlight the entire picture. It'll give a box on the entire picture. So it's just selecting what's in that picture, which is nothing but the chili. So that's all we have in that picture. Now the next thing we're gonna do is hit Command C, and that's gonna copy it. So that made a copy. When we hit Command C, that made a copy of the image. Now the, now we wanna paste the image. So what we do is we go over here to edit, and we paste. Boom. Now, oh, who's that little girl? I think we copied the wrong image. So. Let's see. Command Z that out. Okay. Boom. We want to copy this image. Command. Okay. Let's get to that image. Okay. Command C. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Now she's highlighted. All right. Now after she's highlighted, let's go in and hit paste. Boom. There it is. Now her second picture pops up. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the second one and get rid of the first one. Because remember, we're going to put multiple people in the image. So the next thing that we're going to do is hit Command T to transform that image. So this is just to move it around, to move it to where you want it. Uh, you can shrink the size, bring it down, make it smaller, this and that. So we're going to leave it like that for right now until we get the other cheerleaders in to see how we want to position everybody in the photo. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and hit enter and place it down. Now this first layer here, the big layer, this layer, we don't need anymore. So we can go ahead and delete that. Let's get rid of that layer. Boom. It's gone. All right, so now we're going to bring in the next cheerleader. So what we do, we go to Fiverr, and let's go ahead and find our next cheerleader, okay? We're going to bring you in. Bow. Okay, now you see it lays down. Let's go ahead and sit it down, hit enter on it. Okay, so what we want to do, we don't want to see her right now because we're working on her. So let's just go ahead, close that so we don't see it. Let's make sure we select it on our image. And now the next thing we're going to do is we make sure we're on our lasso tool. And once again, we're going to select the subject. Okay. Boom. Okay. That's a perfect outline. Select subject does such a good job. Now we do need this pom pom. So let's just go ahead and click and see if we can get some of that back. Okay. Boom. Once you have it in, hit command J on your keyboard to make a copy. Okay, boom. Now we have a copy. Boom. We can bring the first one back up to see that one's there. All right, now we're working on our copy. Now the next thing we do is we don't need this one anymore. So we can go ahead and delete that. That's just the background. So we can go ahead and delete the actual photo that we first uploaded. So boom, that's gone. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, let's go back up to our layer. Let's make sure that's the layer we're working on. All right, and we're going to highlight our whole image. Hit Command A. Boom, it highlights the whole image. The only thing in the image is the cheerleader. So the next thing we're going to do is hit Command C. Boom, that made a copy of the cheerleader. Now let's go back and find our image. There it is, okay? So we pull up our other image just to see, put it back on the screen. So the next thing we're going to do is let's go and to find because we already hit command C to copy that second cheerleader. So now let's go in to our edit and hit paste. Bow. There she is. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is hit command T to transform her. Move her out of the way. Let's move her like that. Shrink her down. We can change our size. This and that. And have her in the image. Now let's go back to that second layer. Where is she? Okay. We have to sit it down first. Sorry about that. Let's go in and find the big cheerleader. Where's the big one? There she is. So we don't need her anymore. Goodbye. Go ahead and delete that. Boom. She's gone. Now let's go over to our first, our other cheerleader again. Now we're going to move her over here. So let's command T to grab it. And let's bring her in. Well, just like so with this cheerleader here. And they give you lines to line them up. We're not doing it too accurate right now, but we just want to show you how to put multiple people in the image. Boom. All right, so now let's just go ahead and add one more cheerleader and make it a, 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 a nice trio, okay? So we're going to go back. Go back to our finder. Let's find another cheerleader. Okay. Let's pull her in. Boom. Now they lay her down. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the other layers and close them so they're not there. All right. 
Let's go ahead and click on this one. And we're going to do the same thing. Go ahead and select our subject. And boom, there it is. Nice outline in Mr. Shoe a little bit right here. All right, let's get that. We command J on our keyboard to make that extra layer. Okay, now we don't need this one anymore. So we can go ahead and delete that. Boom, it's gone. Now we just have the black background. Once again, let's go back, bring our other cheerleaders in so we can see them. Okay, now let's go to our other layer, where we were, which is this one. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Command A. Boom, that highlights that cheerleader on that particular picture. Okay, now we're going to hit Command C to make a copy. And we're going to hit Paste. Bow, there she is. Okay. Hit Command T to transform. Grab it once again. Let's move her over to the side for a second. Sit her down. Okay. Let's find the first one again. The one that we don't need. There it is. Right here. And let's go ahead and delete that. We don't need it anymore. Okay. Now let's go back and find this layer. Where is she? That's not it. That's not it. She's in the middle. There she goes. Alright. Let's make sure our thing is highlighted. And we're going to hit Command T boom, to grab it and transform. All right, make her a little smaller. Let's get you in here like such. Move up a little bit. And boom. And there you have it. That's how you add multiple people to an image. Like I say, it's not perfect, but it was just to show y'all how to take people from a solo image and put them all together in the group. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful for y'all, man. If it was, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know if it was useful for you. Let me know if you had any problems or anything that you couldn't understand. And I'll be glad to hit you up, man, and message you back and, and go ahead and give you a better understanding of what's going on so we can get it cracking so you can be a pro at Photoshop. CCC, okay? So that's what's up, man. Y'all have a good one, man. And we'll see y'all next time, man. LAW 24-7 Films and Photography, baby. We out.